everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so today's episode we are going to be kind of be discussing heroes who need their fate course but before that if you wanted updated exos heroes content please hit the subscribe button down below all right guys so before we start i'd like to give a shout out to everyone who has been supporting me for the past 10 months again i'd like to give you guys a you know a thank you thank you very much for the love for the support for the encouragement i am actually um very very happy because without you guys i wouldn't be here the channel would not be here so again thank you very much from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you and now let's proceed to heroes that actually require a fate core we have been I've, I've seen discussions in discord in facebook uh, chat or um in in the threads in facebook of um comments of new fate cores with new heroes and how about the heroes that were launched months ago even a year ago how about them do they get some love i don't see them getting some love anymore from the developers so let's nominate some or i will be nominating some heroes that will need fate cores so more or less let's start with lenombe i will be okay and if you guessed it right it's mirti so just to give an overview of what mirti does so deals damage to attacker for passive upon taking damage afflicts attacker with stun five for 12 turns based on own current health when the attack hits so it's thrust level one for her S1, she deals a single 125% damage to an enemy, afflicts target with shock for 4 turns. But this is what makes her good. So the Dance of Death, required mana is 4, deals 85% damage to all enemies, afflicts target with shock for 4 turns. So based on what I've seen in the game, she's the only hero that has um, AoE shock. Some of the heroes that I've seen have uh, shock, but usually on the back row, but not for all the enemies that she has damaged. So again, she needs her <laughs> her fate core actually ASAP because again, the game is a bit on is is a bit concentrating on its core heroes and its new heroes. But how about these old heroes that have come before? So again, Mirti deserves her fate core. Next would be from Greenland. Some of you might agree with me because Griselle, I have been, I was actually supposed to use her because her S2 is kind of very, very good for me. But let's, let's take a look at her, you know, her, her kit first. Passive is Protect 2, Grand Share Health, so similar to what Garth gives. Uh, not, not Garth, it's Garth, sorry. <laughs> Garf is, is, is in a movie. So, so more or less, uh, she gives Protect 2. Shelter Investigator 4. S1 is going to be Blessing the Deer. Grants Barrier e equal to 23% to of own maximum health to back row allies for 10 turns, which is good. But her S2 is what makes her shine. So, Grassland Hunting. Required mana is 4. Deals 300% damage to one enemy, afflicts target with blind for six turns. This is actually very good, especially in PvP, because blind uh, makes your enemy miss you. So I'm, I'm not sure if, if you guys are aware of her build, but she definitely needs her fate core. Because once she gets her, her fate core, she can definitely be used in PvP right now. A personal favorite of mine. Number one, because she's a waifu. Her kit is not that good. But again, this waifu should be included in the FCs. Um, just regular regular damage, single damage, uh, resets turn. So we've had that. And for her S2, it's just 500% damage to one enemy. But again, guys, who couldn't you know resist using her in terms of your roster? Uh, any waifu that has been around for a long time actually deserves an FC in this game. So for Venato, she really deserves it because she is she's one of the waifus that I was hoping to level up and use in this game. 
but apparently she didn't have her or she doesn't have her FC. So again, I'm still having her at 75. But again, if you if Exo's years would just give her an FC, I would gladly level her up. And especially if her new skills are good, I would use her in PvP perhaps or PvP tag. Estoris is going to have two two heroes that need FCs. One of them is going to be Metron. Okay, why Metron? Because Metron is one of those um, heroes that provide mana, so he has mana absorbed too. Removes enemy buffs, gains one mana, gain one mana additionally if health of target is 80%. Shell Investigator 1. His, uh, his uh, S1 is actually um, grants uh, Dragon's Protection grants reflect damage to all allies for 16 turns, which is actually very good as well. And all, ma all allies gain one mana. This actually skill is very good. I hope he gets his FC also in the future. And for his S2, you have their uh, Clinch of the Absolute, so deals 420 damage to one enemy. A flex target with curse dealing 111% damage every turn for six turns. So regular um, damage over time. But his S1 would definitely shine if indeed he gets his fate core. Next for stories is actually a favorite. And she was a favorite when the game started, which was Kaya. She was the ultimate healer way back when we didn't have um, our our meta healers. Um, we only had, I think, um, FC Anastasia and we had Kaya before when, when the game was out. And she was actually very good because her... Uh, let's let's actually skip her um, her, her, her passive. Uh, first aid 3. More or less, she's the only... I'm sorry, not the only, but she was the first to have both skills as healing skills or healing spells. So she was the first. I'm not saying she's the only one, but more or less, uh, Talia actually holds that distinction for being uh, the the best healer. But again, she was the best before. She was actually heals all allies by 41% of own maximum health, cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on allies, and for her S2 heals all allies by 83% of own maximum health, cleanses all debuffs and damage over time. Uh, effects on all allies so if you can see the both s1 and s2 are actually aoe heals for 141 percent and one is 83 percent and this is a burst skill for her s2 so again i think she deserves a lot of you know a lot of um support in terms of her fc she may be viable again if she actually got her fc so my wish is for her to have her FC soon. I hope the devs would consider it. But we have to move to Wasted Red. I don't see any addition particularly that will really, really change uh, Wasted Red. But definitely one of the earliest um, heroes that has come to my attention when I started the game was David Johnson. So I'm curious if they would actually give this pirate guy... And FC because again he did have a great design especially when you didn't have that that much heroes before you had to bring him but again his skills are very good he has counter two for his passive Dragonite blessing as well and for his S1 deals 240 damage to one enemy at one mana and her and his S2 is a 142% damage to all enemies and it's a burst skill at only three mana. So for um for wasted red it's going to be it's only going to be David Johnson. So let's go to North Von Frosty. So there are two here who are well deserving. One of them is actually Sharpe. Sharpe, when I started again, she was one of the heroes that I used. Um good kit for for, for a standard for a legendary hero. So, uh, passive is finishing blow too. She also has dragon, ha dragon hunter blessing, which is you know she can be used to the dragon. Um, next is her S one is uh, cross execution, which is deals two fifty two percent damage to an enemy, resets own turn if target dies, and her S two is um, 
uh, Feather Blast, which requires 5 mana, deals 336 damage to all back row enemies. Again, she definitely needs her Fate Core. And the last, definitely um, one of, I think, the must, uh, must uh, heroes that must receive their Fate Cores is Karina. So again, she is being used by... Um, players in the dragon as well together sometimes with um, with Sharpay. she also has finishing blow and dragon dragon hunter blessing but her skills s1 is deals 180 80 damage to one enemy resets again if turn it it rets, <laughs> resets our own turn if target dies sorry <laughs> okay and the next would be one of her best skills which is chain slicer Required mana 5 and deals 840% damage to one enemy, which is actually good. So she rounds out our heroes that really needs their FC. And more or less, I think Exos should be able to utilize their older heroes and give them FCs, not just give um, uh, multiple FCs to, to existing heroes who have FCs already. Again, guys, I do hope that Exos would uh, Exos Years Online Games would be able to listen to its community and probably spread the love around in terms of Fate Course. Okay, so if you have stayed this long to the last part of the video, please consider subscribing, click the bell, that bell icon, and also leave a like to this video. Also, guys, I would appreciate it if you leave your comments below. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.